Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to All Things Hockey. And today, we've got something a little different. It's uh, two packages that I really want to open specifically for one card, but I figure we'll open the other. And I know I'd gotten a suggestion a few videos back of doing, what was it, essentially highlighting my collection. I don't know if it was along those lines, but, you know, from that, I, I, I got this small idea. It's essentially going to be some of my favorite cards from my PCs that you probably haven't seen in a while because they were from an older video a while back. Um, something that I haven't really had in my top tens, but still some of my favorite stuff. So a few things were left out because they were big cards, but I had opened them recently. So figured we'll kind of refresh it. And it's, uh, see if I can do this without dropping them. It's a pretty big stack. So we're gonna start with a Schultz card. I've only got one Jimmy Schultz in this whole thing since most of the cards worth showing have been opened recently. <clears throat> and this one is going to be the signature materials from the cup with the most beautiful Golden Knights patch I have in my collection. We've got one, two, three, four, technically five colors because you got the red, the white, the black, the gold, and then in there is gray. So technically four colored patch with the jersey, you could argue that it's five. Numbered 73 out of 99 with a beautiful on-card auto. This was something that I had snagged for about $20 on eBay. And hands down, favorite patch. Uh, I've got that top 50 that's numbered out of five. So that's probably one of my favorite cards in general, but this has a cooler patch. So definitely had to add this to the video. Uh, something from the Knights PC that isn't a main player is the Reed Duke Clear Cut Young Guns. This was the first Clear Cut Young Guns for the Golden Knights. And um, I know a lot of people freak out about this, but the one touch I keep this in allows you to keep the card in a sleeve. So the clear cut isn't rubbing up against the plastic, which will scra uh, scrape, scratch the card, ruin the value. Um, I absolutely love these one touches. They're not the main brand that everybody goes with. Um, as you see, there isn't anything down there. I can't remember what the brand is called, but favorite one touch. But it's the Reed Duke clear cut. I was so happy to get this in the PC when I bought it and uh, still have it as a centerpiece for my Young Guns uh, area. Now this one, I don't know if this has been in a top 10, and I know that if not, it hasn't been on this channel in a very long time. And that is the Vadim Shipachev Rookie Premieres with the Go Knights inscribed on it. I absolutely love it. It's a very low end card for what it looks like. Numbered 21 out of 49. I believe you can get these for about $15, which is crazy, but he also didn't play for the Knights, like, ever, I think. Didn't he, re didn't he retire from the NHL after, like, one or two games, if even? Which is funny, because then the Knights went on to be, like, the most successful team that, like, ever. But, whatever. With the Alex Tuck PC... I've got the Obsidian, Black Obsidian Premium Patch. Only downside to this card is there's so much purple and black that it all blends in, like the design they have up there and on the bottom. The numbering blends in. It's hard to see, even in person. It's numbered two out of 25. And it's a nice three color patch. You got the gold, the white, and the black dots up front or up top. Got this a while back. I believe this is actually my first Tuck patch card. And I've only got like two, which is weird, but his stuff is expensive for the patches because he's one of those players who's slowly gaining momentum and people are realizing the uh, 
a skill he has. So, on along with that, we've got the superscripts for Tuck. Unfortunately, it is a sticker auto, but it is number 13 out of 25. So, it's the uh, gold parallel, I believe they call it. I know that there's special names for all these, and I can never remember. But I managed to get this for cheaper than the normal superscripts, which I ended up getting down the line for uh, about half the price I paid for this. But at the time, this was cheaper than the normal ones listed on eBay. So this is another card that doesn't really have the value you'd think it would. And it's a Kuznetsov SP game used patch numbered out of 10. Numbered 8 out of 10. I believe I paid $25 for this. And um, I got it from somebody on Instagram. Although, from what I've seen on eBay, there's one listed for like $75. So I don't know the real worth of this. I don't know if that one's sold. I haven't checked in a while. Um, it's a simple patch, small patch, but still beautiful. Very low numbered. One of the lowest numbered patches I have in the PC minus the John Carlson All-Star Skills patch from a few videos back. This one came all the way from Russia. Took forever, but I'm happy it eventually showed up. And it's the Tundra Tandems of Mike Green and Nicholas Backstrom. Dual patches numbered 21 out of 36. I wish the patches were reversed, but it's got a beautiful uh, chunk of the star from above the Capitals logo. And you can see the stitching up top of where it connects to the jersey. And then unfortunately, Backstrom is just a, a blue piece. And it's dual patches. Um, so now that I think about it, that's either part of the inside of the lettering or it's part of the eagle wing. And it's just all blue. So, it's really cool. Either way, I paid very little. Um, obviously, I try to get the best deal for every card if it's possible. I managed to do that with this one. Some Ovechkin. This was from a man who's given me, or traded me, I think, three OV cards. Um, two very nice ones, like this one, a winning combos of Ovechkin and Nicholas Backstrom. A nice three color patch for Ovi, a nice two color for Backstrom, number 14 out of 15, and it's uh, goals and assists. So they had a killer year in 2008 uh, 2009, 56 goals, 66 assists. Um, clearly, neither one of them would be as big as they are without the other, so this one I couldn't leave out. It's been in probably three different videos, but it's the Game Gear, the Stadium Series, the centerpiece of my collection. Red jersey, top of the Stadium Series patch, corner of the tag, and a piece of the fight strap. It's actually got a little, um, I forget what they call it, but it's a little damaged per se. So I'm hoping that was put in that way and not from when I got it. But what I find interesting is it has a piece of a Fanatics tag. So, I don't know what that's all about, but I like it either way. And two cards from a PC that I don't really consider a PC, but I have it for one reason and one reason only. And that is the Patrick Brown Young Guns. I have this because I have his game-used socks from one of the seasons... 2020 playoffs, I believe it was, um, graded 9.5. This is his clear cut. Interesting way to go about clear cut since now they're fully transparent and this one's uh, more of the SPA clear cuts along with his high gloss. These were the cheapest high end per se uh, young guns I've ever bought. It was, I think it was uh, $20 and I think it was $20 each, which is crazy, but 
you know, got to cash in when you can. And we got some Chandler Stevenson, and probably the favorite patch that I have of his, the Hot Prospects with the Reebok, uh, Reebok patch, nice auto, numbered 185 out of 499. I also believe this is the first patch I bought of his, and uh, it's impossible to get some of his stuff because it's 1516, which is McDavid's year, so opening boxes for his stuff is not even an option because everything is jacked up and uh you're better off buying every single card on the market of his than buying one box of something 15 16 for a hit and the other one one of my favorites as well is his inscribed future watch number 22 out of 9.99 he's got 10 15 15 inscription on it won this on ebay paid a little more than i wanted to but you got to do what you got to do for the players you love now we've got three glass cards for one reason and one reason only we've got his rookie materials patch numbered nine out of 25 so that's jersey numbered we've got the Allure Green Quartz, numbered 9 out of 99, so that's his jersey number. And Chronology Timeless Memories Patch Auto, numbered 9 out of 35. So that is three jersey numbered cards. That one makes four. Still can't believe I have those, but love it. I love it so much. And... We got three cards left the very first patch i bought of tom wilson's and it is an rpa his hot prospects not the craziest patch number 97 out of 375 but this was towards the beginning of my collecting and still on display for my main wilson cards along with one that I need to get a one-touch for. The ever-so-beautiful limited auto materials with the eagle wing tip. Numbered 82 out of 100. Hard signed. Got this from who I consider a very good friend now. Honestly, and I love it because you can see that it's a shoulder because it's got the little dimples in there. And lastly, a card that I did not give enough credit to. Peyton Krebs, silver on black, 2 out of 25, so it's got the gold. I got this for, I want to say it was 70, and it's now worth 200. Um, probably going to go up since he seems to do pretty well this year. And uh, this needs a one-touch for obvious reasons, but it's an odd card. It's like the same width of like a typical jersey card, and most people don't put those in one-touches, so I don't have any but those are the highlights probably picked out too many but gonna move on the one that i want to open so a cool story behind this um i had a friend who found this on ebay and it was on auction i was at work and so he sat there and made sure that he won it for me, which is crazy that somebody would do that for me, but they know how much I love this card and this player. And we're going to I just realized that the uh, Chandler Stevenson Reebok patch was in a, uh, a past video, but that's okay. Oh, that's a beauty. That might even be gradable. All right, I'm gonna take the, the rest of the tape off. I don't wanna, uh, splitting. I don't wanna bore you guys. But we now have our second UD Exclusives Chandler Stevenson Young Guns, numbered 53 out of 100. 
got this for $20, which is around the price that it is always sold for. There is a little whitening on the one corner, so this probably won't grade perfectly, but it's, uh, I'm gonna have to check between this and the other one. Um, funny stories, there's a guy on, on eBay who's trying to sell one, $55 starting bid, $200, buy it now. And um, he's a little stupid, but what are you gonna do? And lastly, this one that I paid $25 for, it might be the best auto I have. Looks like there's some basketball cards in here. Baseball, a little bit of everything. Let's see. <laughs> I don't... Some pretty nice looking cards. Got some OPG Platinum in there. Some baseball. Let me know if those are any good. I don't know. Hockey. Some more basketball. And one more. That's from like Mosaics, right? Yeah. I know that at least. Alright. Oh, well. Don't want to show that. I'm going to open this up. And now this, I was supposed to trade an Ovechkin card for. And the only reason is because of how low numbered it was and the value he put it at. And so, really protected it. Got to pull all this tape off. Like I said, ended up paying 25 uh, USD shipped, um, which is odd because the kind of card it is, but it is a Gage Quinney rookie auto from Synergy numbered five out of 11. The only other one I saw like this was numbered out of 35 and listed for $45 on eBay. So I don't know how much this is worth, but I'd say it's it's up there, you know, higher than 25 at least. So, you know, I definitely had to snag this when I got the opportunity. Gonna have to find a, uh, a one touch that'll fit it. So those are the two cards that I wanted to open. Two beauties for the PCs. So thank you for joining me today. I know this was a little long and probably kind of boring, but it is what it is. Um, let me know what you thought, if you liked either of the two cards or one of the ones I showed. Um, leave a like, and if you subscribe, then I will see you in the next one.